two weeks. This is the 12-year-old boy, Charlie Bothell, that went missing for 11 days. But Charlie was found in his own basement while his father was doing a live interview about him. Charlie's father was speechless and didn't even know what to say. What Charlie's father didn't know was investigators came by his house while he was doing the interview. And there the investigators found Charlie behind a bunch of boxes in their basement. After this, the whole internet was shocked and wanted to know what actually happened. After further investigation was done, it was actually said that Charlie's parents were trying to fool everyone. So Charlie was actually in his own basement the whole time. Not only was he forced into this basement, but he was strangely forced to exercise. Charlie's dad made him do brutal exercises this whole time. And if they weren't done publicly, he would make him do it over and over. So by the time the cops found him in the basement, he was worn out. After this all came out, Charlie's parents were then arrested. I won't believe where they found this boy after he was reported missing for almost... Anybody who honestly cares about black people cannot support Black Lives Matter. It's a terrorist organization, and personally, I think it's the KKK in blackface. Change your name to policehaters.com because that's what you do. You hate police. You're not about police brutality. Black Lives Matter should be about all black lives. It should be about black-on-black -black crime in Chicago. It should be about father absence and how that affects black children. Black Lives Matter is a disgusting name for an organization that hates black men and overall hates black people. You're a domestic terrorist organization. We uh, are trained Marxists. Um... When racism, direct racism, wasn't working for the Democrat Party because Republicans came in and put an end to Jim Crow laws, put an end to slavery, it was the Republicans who championed civil rights. The Democrats had to switch to, okay, well, we can't be directly racist anymore, so let's just pretend we like black people. Anybody who honestly cares about...